Mel Sutton reporting for DJ Sounds. Uh, highly stressful day <laughs> <laughs> down here on the beach with Jason Bull, a man who started off with Base Bar in Ibiza Town, who is now the owner of boutique hotel SVV, Sands Beach Bar, and Boho Ibiza in San Antonio. Jason, you're like Tigger from, from <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. You don't stop. You're like... From here to there and there and here and house, everything. Well, the, the, the thing is, you know, this sort of work and having these different venues requires obviously a huge amount of energy. And the only way to actually kind of have that energy is, is to love what you do, is, is to love the work, is to love the kind of, you know, the social interaction, to love the, the pressure behind it, the kind of the meeting, the kind of entertaining people and kind of, you know, ultimately showing people a good time. <laughs> My days involve a lot of smiling, um, a lot of movement, a lot of kind of meeting and greeting people, a lot of decisions, a lot of thinking, and a, you know, and, and, a, and, a, and a lot of great things, you know, a lot of great things. Through obviously me working in bars in Ibiza town as a public relations, getting people to sit down and buy drinks, etc. And I wasn't bad at it, and I thought, okay, I should get my own bar, which I did, which then led into me and Nick from the Rock Bar being partners. Um, and then we decided to do our separate thing, and I set the base bar up. And the base bar was always the focal point for people to come down to and have drinks and socialise and plan their night ahead. So it's always been a, a really energising place, and people have always loved going down there. Um, the port of Ibiza has changed a little bit over the years, and it's going to change again in, in a better way. But it's, it's, it's always it's, it's the heart and soul of what I, what I do really the base bar, because it's, it's where the idea for this place came from. And, all of the connections that the, the, the our know, clients of this place and advocates of this place came from. So, yeah, it's, it was it's the starting point for kind of you know my my Balearic career effectively, and you know it's, it's important part of what I mean. So, yeah. Well, it was it was like this. I mean, obviously, kind of people coming down to the, to baseball were complaining about the hotels where they were staying. There was nothing kind of that was tailored to their requirements. As people at like parties and staying out late, etc. So, after that information, I kind of realised there was it was, it was a niche that kind of you know could, could be formed. So, kind of then you know obviously I didn't have the funds to do it on my own. So, I had some really good friends, Max, Nick, Jer um, Jamie, and Neil in the hotel. So we kind of set out, found a premises that we thought we could turn into this kind of, you know, this, this sort of like clubber's hotel or this party hotel um, and come across the SV Bay and obviously kind of set about transforming that over the last nine years. And, you know, it is what it is today on the strength of all that kind of all that, all that hard work and all that determination and all those dreams. <laughs> Do. We have a DJ start at one o'clock once people start to come down after they're kind of they're, they're slept or whatever, and they sort of start playing like kind of you know chilled ambient tunes around the pool, sort of stuff you just sort of like kind of tap your feet to and sort of like kind of nod your head to gently or lazy in the sunshine, and then they sort of like kind of come down to experience bar, which opens at ten o'clock. And again, we start off kind of quite, quite, quite light in there with some nice little vibes, while having their cocktails before they go out to the bar or whatever. And then obviously, kind of they go out and they come back at kind of three, four, five in the morning. And then it's um, whatever you want it to be, no or whatever you want it to be, which is all you, you know. What do you get in there well, we, we have all sorts, you know. I mean, we, we have our resident lineups with Ben Santiago. Um, we have Jason By coming quite a lot, Rob Marmot, Dazzler, and we've had some kind of you know some some big hitting big hitting DJs in there. We've had Sven Marf playing there. We've had Eric Murillo, Coxie's played in there, you know. Because it, I mean, any DJ that comes along there what you know wants to kind of get involved because it's that sort of environment yeah it's fun and your mates are there and you want to sort of like kind of have, a, have a good time and you know it kind of it just 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 builds from that so yeah it's, it's you know the thing is you know it's also a bit of a secret so we can't divulge too many details but uh it's a wonderful place <laughs> to, to you just have to come along by them yourselves and, and you won't be disappointed i promise later i'm going to float up worse in the sea Sands, 
your baby. Yeah, my baby, is it bless baby? her. It is, it is, well, it is. One of them. Well, they're, they're my babies. It's one of my family, you know. So tell me about Sands and what you're doing down here. Well, what we're doing with Sands, again, kind of, kind of, we try to create another amazing place, a place on a beach where our clients and friends would like to come and hang out and enjoy this wonderful bleacher pad in Boston, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the vibes and the great food and, and you know, the attention to detail that we've kind of, you know, injected into this place. And, and it's, it's working and people are loving it. They're loving the food and all, all, all the details that we've kind of really considered. And, um, yeah, there's, there's parties going on. We've got Piton coming down here now to sort of, like, kind of play. And, you know, so it's, it's, it's just all working, you know, it's all working. It's all working good. So I'm, I'm very, very happy, very happy. Have you always wanted? to have a beach bar. Well, you, you know, you know what, I mean, I mean, who doesn't want a beach bar? I mean, it's the best thing in the world to have a beach bar. It's like, you know, it's... it's, 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 it's these things like are dreams, throne, you know? know. These things are dreams. And, you know, dreams do come true, you know. I mean, and I've come, yeah, they really, really do. But it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, I never... I mean, obviously, I, I mean, if you'd have asked me 15 years ago, do, do I want a beach bar? I'd have said yes, of course. But, you know, some somehow 15 years ago, I mean, I would have thought they were unobtainable. But, you know, from, from my experiences, nothing's unobtainable. If, if, you, if you dream it, you can do it, you know. That's, that's kind of... That's, that's, that's how it goes. An yeah, that's how it goes. Now, Boho. Boho, Boho is just wonderful. It's so. Uh, it's it, a, you've taken over what used to be Ecstasy. Exactly. It's an interesting thing, Boho, actually. A really good friend of mine, Tony Truman, he called me up and said, you know, Jace, you've got to come and look at this, this, this thing that I found. I'm like, okay, cool. He said, what is this thing I found? <laughs> and he, he did actually tell me what it was. He, he, he said, it's in San Antonio. I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, you know, San Antonio's cool. Pete's doing a great job over there. And obviously, kind of, you know, the San Antonio, you know, council have done a great job in kind of, you know, bringing it back up again. So I went, anyway, went over there, walked into this nightclub that had been shut for three years, you know, un undeveloped for 20 years. And uh, loved. And loved it, you know what I mean? And, and walked in and thought, fucking, I could, excuse me. Oh, I walked in there and thought I could have a really good time in here. You know, the, the lines of the place and the kind of how it was and the decor and just the ambience was enough to kind of make me feel, you know, on my own. Thought, this is all right. So, um, you know, and obviously we're quite we're quite discerning when it comes to venues. I've spent so much time in them over the years that kind of to actually kind of walk into a venue that had been deserted essentially and, and still feel good about it was quite surprising to me. So that in itself is enough to make me think about what we could do there and, you know, the real possibilities of making something good and viable and ultimately amazing. It's pretty obvious that the, ob well, the obvious things are there, what you love about Ibiza, but what is the core thing that makes you just want to be here and stay here and promote and do what you do? The curve. It's, it's, you, it's, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the core thing is, it's just like, it's just like living the life that you want to live and living the dream and you know the magic of people and you know Ibiza. I mean, you know, Balearic as it gets. Well, congratulations on everything you've done, doing. Thank you. Do. Thank and, you. Well, thanks coming down here every week for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're always welcome anytime. Just kind of pop by and. We can kind of hang out here and have massages over there and, you know, it's just as good as it gets, isn't it, really? Have a little boogie in a minute as well. Let's have a little boogie, eh? All right, lovely.